two teams are trying to knock down those flaming targets using a water cannon. The first to knock down four gets $50 in control of the game. Rapid fire trivia questions and a fantastic obstacle course for a chance to win cash and eye popping prizes. That's right, eye popping. Now, I'm your host, Liza Koshi, and joining me, always a man who has a steady stream of jokes, it's Mark Summers. Oh, hey, nice to see you. Hi, Liza. Now, you know, you know, you have to tell me a joke now with that sort of okay, intro. Okay, uh, why did the cup of coffee go to the police station? Why did the cup of coffee go to the police station? Why? He got mugged. Yeah. <laughs> he got mugged. <laughs> All right, dad jokes. Let's meet our teams. In blue, we have Jack and Evan, baseball buddies and ready to take a crack at winning some cash and prizes. Let's hear it for the EJ Grand Slammers. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I think I just saw you hit it out of the ballpark over there. I think I saw that. How many home runs have you had? A hundred. A hundred? Yeah, no, a hundred and one. A hundred and one? Yeah. Oh, in wiffle ball. Oh, very cool. How about you, man? I think uh, I saw you hold up zero. In baseball, I haven't hit any, but in wiffle ball, I've hit him way more than him. Four oh. seven. Yes, I have. Yeah, you guys are supposed to be a team. Work together. Yeah. <laughs> so how, how did you guys meet? We met in second grade, and we just started becoming friends then. And yeah, that's just how it just all began. That's beautiful. So it was love and baseball for you guys. Yeah. That's awesome. And I hear you guys also have sisters, too. So you guys have no problem yeah. taking on some girls today, huh? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll see if they'll hit it out of the ballpark today. Now, on our other team, we have their opponents in red. Now, Siri and Hope are friends so close, they say they're more like soul sisters. I like them already. <laughs> Give it up for the Santa Barbara Goldies. <laughs> Hey, Siri. Hey. I talk to you all the time on my phone, girl. I know you do. Hope I have you all the time. Mm-hmm. So you call yourself the Santa Barbara Goldies. Why Santa Barbara Goldies? So that people don't have to, like, ask where we're from. And because, <laughs> and because we both have, like, like, relatively golden hair, so. Okay, and you're soul sisters, right? Mm-hmm. What makes you soul sisters? We have, like, everything in common. Yeah. Well, I think so. They're going to be a great team today. Our sisters got soul. Our brothers got gold with the $50 on the board. So let me explain to you guys how we play Double Dare. I'm going to ask you a question. You get it, you get $50. Now, if you don't know the answer or you think the other team doesn't have a clue, you can dare them for double the amount. But be careful, because they can double dare you right back for four times the amount. Then you either have to answer the question or take the physical challenge. Feeling good? Yeah. yeah. Feel like we got it? Yeah. yeah! Audience, they got it, right? Yeah. yeah! All right, let's play some Double Dare. Now, my EJ Grand Slammers, you guys won the first toss-up challenge with $50 on the board. You have control of the game. Here is your first question. The author of the Harry Potter books used initials instead of her first name. What is her full pen name? Couple of seconds. Um, we'll do Dare. Dare, not worth $100. My ladies, the author of the Harry Potter books used initials instead of her first name. What is her full pen name? J.K. Rowling. That is correct. J.K. Rowling is correct. $100 and now in control of the game, my Santa Barbara Goldies, here is your question. What's it called when you sneak into the background of a picture just as it's being taken? Is it photobombing, hashtagging, or unfriending? Photo bombing. Correct, that's right. <laughs> For $50 to Santa Barbara Goldies, $150 on the board. Here's your next question. When your teacher talks to you about STEM, they're talking about science, technology, and mathematics. What does the E stand for? Couple of seconds. Dare. Dare, not worth $100, boys. When your teacher talks to you about STEM, they're talking about science, technology, and mathematics. What does the E stand for? Engineering. That is correct, boys. Thank you for saying that together. 
You guys won $100 back in control of the game. EJ Grand Slammers, here is your next question. What do they call the time when glaciers covered huge parts of the Earth? Was it the Stone Age, Ice Age, or Old Age? Ice Age. Ice Age is correct. <laughs> Next question for my boys. At Fenway Park, home to the Boston Red Sox, what is the colorful nickname of the ominous wall in left field? Green Monster. You got it right, man. <laughs> nice, right out of the ballpark. All right, backpacking, traffic safety, and wilderness survival are three of the many kinds of what that can be earned by Boy Scouts. Couple of seconds. Dare. Dare, now worth $100, ladies. Backpacking, traffic safety, and wilderness survival are three of the many kinds of what that can be earned by Boy Scouts. Double dare. Double dare, $200. Boys, what do we think? Uh, we'll take the physical challenge. They're taking the physical challenge. Come with me. The answer is merit badges. I used to be a Boy Scout, go for those all the time. $200 physical challenge. Liza, tell us all about it. All right, now here is how it works. One player is going to use their plunger to grab a ball from the rack and pass it to your partner. Now, if they can dump it in that small bowl in under 30 seconds, you guys get to bank $200. Sounds pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, who's gonna be grabbing? Who's dumping? I, I'll be dumping, you grab. All right, um, he'll be dumping, I'll grab. You're gonna take a dump? Yeah. Very nice. All right, <laughs> cool. All right, head on over there and we'll get you geared up. Woohoo! I'll need to borrow one of those later, thank you. All right, guys, go ahead and take your positions. All right, feeling good, guys? Yeah. All right, 30 seconds on the clock, one ball in the bowl, $200 on the line. They're about to take the plunge. On your mark, get set, go! Slow and steady, slow and steady. He's taking it, oh, we lost one ball. No worries, we got more balls. There we go, new ball coming. Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey. oh, 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 It's okay, I got it. Thank you. Red ball coming. All right, let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Which means that our Santa Barbara Goldies won $200. <laughs> 350 oh, That sound means it's the end of round one. Now we have our EJ Grand Slammers with $250, but the lead was taken by Santa Barbara Goldies with $350. But don't worry, guys, because it's still anybody's game. Isn't that right, Mark? Absolutely. I'm a little scared over here. Hey, you know, when we come back in round two, all the dollar values will be doubled. It's a seesaw battle. Who's going to that obstacle course? We're going to find out together right after this. <laughs> <laughs> it all happens when we come back to Double Dare. <laughs> Watch out. Where the balls go? Welcome back to round two of Double Dare, where everything is worth double the dollars. Now, at the end of this round, the winner gets to keep their bank and move on to the final obstacle course. Now, this toss-up will determine who gets in control for round two. You